Welcome in everyone, Cassie Soto here with you as the NFL's annual league meetings are officially underway in Phoenix, Arizona. Our very own Raiders beat writer Vinny Bonsignor is there in the middle of all the action there in Phoenix and he joins us now. Vinny, thanks so much for taking some time. Let's just start with the fact that you were able to speak with Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels on Monday morning. Can you just sort of give us the feel of the day's events and the tone of Josh McDaniels? Yeah, I got a chance to talk to Josh McDaniels, got a chance to talk to Dave Ziegler, the general manager, Mark Davis, uh, the Raiders owner. First time talking to Mark um, since the trade, or, uh, or excuse me, the uh, release and ultimately moving on of Derek Carr. So an interesting day, needless to say, in beautiful Phoenix. The weather is, uh, is just perfect uh, right now. But, um, you know, I think the Raiders feel pretty good about what they've done so far in free agency. I know it's not necessarily a whole bunch of big names. Uh, but they feel like they're putting together, um, you know, a, a football team and giving themselves in the process some flexibility ahead of the draft. Uh, despite what people might think, they do have an offense. They could start a game if they were playing on Sunday and a defense for that matter. And now that they have that in place, they could go into the draft not having to be urgent about um, reaching for a particular position. They truly can go for the best player available whenever their selection is starting at number seven or if they move back or move up. Uh, but they've created some flexibility with themselves for themselves through this first couple of weeks of free agency. Monday was the first time that Josh McDaniels has been made available to the media since the team traded tight end Darren Waller, Vinny, and he was asked about it, of course. So let's hear from him real quick before we jump into it. It's just honestly, uh, it was looking at the whole complexion of the roster, where we're at, you know, felt like I had an opportunity after discussing it with Dave, you know, get younger. Um, you know, and add another draft pick in the draft, you know, the top 100, uh, and use some of that money that we, w we would have paid Darren to, to pay Jacoby and, and, and start working towards some other things. So, like I said, um, I really enjoyed Darren and, you know, wished I would have had more games with him last year. But, um, you know, I, like I said, not easy decisions, but that's, that's what went into it. What did you make of Josh McDaniel's answer there, Vinny? He said, of course, this was a tough decision, but overall, the team wanted to get younger. Yeah, and, um, you know, and, and you know, in some ways, unfortunately for Darren, no fault of his own, but he, he kind of played himself into this position by not being able to be on the field consistently over last year. And then if you go all the way back to November uh, of 2021, uh, kind of the same situation there. So. Uh, unfortunately, because of injuries, he didn't do himself any favors. Now the Raiders are looking at 31 years old, uh, a player coming off two years of injuries coupled with or, or you know, uh, you know, contrasting getting a player in the third round, another pick within the first 100 picks uh, of this draft. Uh, can you get younger and can you get a player that's going to be under control now for the next four years? Or you could use that third round pick to move up in the draft or whatever you might uh, want to want to choose to do with it. They wanted to do things a little bit differently in terms of the offense and how it looks. Uh, and and again, Darren Waller really through no fault of his own kind of played himself into a vulnerable position by not being able to play. Last one for you, Vinny, going back to your conversations with Mark Davis and Dave Ziegler earlier on Monday, is there anything that stood out to you that you can share with the fans as the team of course is now preparing for this year's NFL draft? Yeah, uh, a whole bunch of uh, stuff to, to, you know, the Raiders are still, you know, in the process of taking a look at those quarterbacks. Uh, I think they're pretty high on, on some defensive players uh, at number seven, maybe even an offensive lineman at number seven. But what really uh, struck out to me today was talking to Mark Davis and how one of the last conversations he had with Derek Carr, he apologized uh, to Derek Carr for not being able to get it done uh, over the nine years of, of his career. So Mark Davis said, look, the buck stops here. We didn't get it done, uh, and he puts that on his shoulders. And I thought that was a fairly noble thing for an owner to do. You know, Derek Carr for nine years kind of took uh, his share of, of the brunt of the criticism for what didn't happen with the Raiders under his quarterbacking. Uh, but Mark Davis came out today and said, a lot of that was on me. That was my fault. So uh, I felt like that was a pretty noble thing for him to do. Great stuff as always, Vinny. Thank you so much. For more on Vinny's articles coming out of this year's NFL owners meetings, you can head on over to VegasNation.com. For Vinny Bonsignor, I'm Cassie Soto. We'll see you soon.